it's almost time for interview two, where I warmly welcome Shazia Saleem to the show. But just before that, take a look at this. After a long, hard day's work, uh, I don't have time to cook, and I don't like takeaways, so I was looking for an unstunned halal alternative. Not only are they halal, really wholesome, totally yummy, they taste as if they've actually been home cooked, but most importantly, they're ethically sourced, something that really matters to me and my growing family. I eat is just also so great for when you have no time. And it's so much better than tuna. Wow, that's incredible. I can't wait to introduce to you Shazia Saleem of I Eat. Asalaamu Alaikum, sister. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. Please, please tell me about I Eat. <laughs> um, I Eat was born basically out of hunger, right? Okay. Uh, the hunger that I'm sure all of us share, which is growing up in the UK, uh -huh. wanting to have just normal. British everyday food oh, that yeah. all of your non-Muslim friends were having Absolutely. Um, and we weren't able to have. So shepherd's pies, pizzas, oh. pastas, lasagnas. What are you doing to me, sister? We're still an hour <laughs> no, and a half away from the sort of No, but you know what? You're absolutely right. I've always wanted to eat these foods growing up, yes. but it's, it's always the age of, oh, it's not halal. Oh, That's we can't it. go there, it's not halal. That's but it. there's a solution to this? Yeah, so we launched in Sainsbury's at the end of February. We then Watch launched on. in Tesco at the end of May. So we're now in just over 50 stores, uh, London, Birmingham, Leicester, mm -hmm. and uh, West Yorkshire. Oh, wonderful. And uh, yeah, alhamdulillah, so far, really, really great. It's going really well. That's fantastic. You guys have to come into my area. I really need some halal <laughs> shepherd's pie. My God, that's all I can think about. I know what I want for iftar <laughs> as well today. So it must be really rewarding as well. I mean, do, do you meet uh, young and, uh, I guess, older Muslims as well who are really grateful to, because it's a really important thing to uh, in, engage with. British culture yes. as well. So do they do they in, they enjoy that? Are they grateful for these choices? You know, it's funny. It's it might seem like a really small behaviour to non-Muslims, but the ability to just walk into a supermarket, pick something up for dinner that uh -huh. is ethical, that's good quality, that tastes great, that's convenient. Uh -huh. You know, we don't all have time to cook every single night of the week. Sometimes it's just good to have something you can put in the oven and know that it's good quality food. Okay. So a really, it might seem like a really small behaviour, uh -huh. but actually it's a really big thing to Muslims, and uh -huh. we haven't been able to do that just yet. Uh, until we came along, so I'm really, I'm really glad that we're able to do it. That's wonderful, mashallah. That's so great to hear. Now, I've got to ask you. There's, there's some brands out there as well. There's, there's several kind of Islamic food or kind of Muslim food brands out there. Sure. I mean, in terms of the ethically conscious foods market, what makes I eat different? So nearly every time in the Quran where um, halal is mentioned with regards to meat, the word dayyab accompanies it as well. Uh -huh. Dayyab means wholesome and ethical and pure. Mm -hmm. So we try to really embed those values in our brand. Uh -huh. So that means all of our meat is British sourced, that they come from assured farms, that they've been fed a natural and halal diet, uh -huh. um, that they've been looked after throughout the whole life. All of the ingredients that go into our dishes are what you would call kitchen cupboard ingredients. So there's no industrial ingredients, no e-numbers, no horrible processes. It's just as you would make at home. It's just that we're making it in a, in a bit of a bigger kitchen, uh -huh. really. Um, and so we've just tried to bring it back down to as much as possible to sure. good ethics, good sure. quality food. We look after the environment, all of our packaging is environmentally friendly, uh -huh. all of those kind of things. Now, as you say, over the last seven years, you've kind of expanded massively, and now you're in 50 massive super, including you know, Tesco, Sainsbury's, yeah. as you say. How does it feel to kind of take something, from, like an uh -huh. idea, yeah. and a really valuable idea and take it to the skill. Oh, alhamdulillah, I'm so grateful for Allah for giving me the opportunity to be able to do that. Uh -huh. it's, it's, there's so many people I meet uh -huh. who always say, like, I had the idea and I wanted to do that. And it's, it's nice to know that someone has done it for Absolutely. Muslims and, and has been able to open that door in a major supermarket or two major supermarkets. Um, and made it easier for Muslims to consume ethical halal meat. And that's, that's, you know, it's always been a dream of mine. I'm glad someone has done it. Um, it feels really great. And it's, nothing's greater than when we get really good feedback on our Facebook page, which we get all the time. Of which course. I always love. Well, you'll, you'll get some feedback from me on there, I promise you. <laughs> and you've almost answered my next question, but I was going to ask you, like, what, where can people find out more about I Eat Foods and which branches they can go to to find sure. it? Sure. Um, so it's the number one question that's asked on our website, as you can, as you can imagine. Um, so if you go onto ieatfoods.com uh -huh. forward slash find us, uh -huh. that will tell you where our local stores are. You can put your postcode in and find your local store. Okay. And you can find us on Facebook as well at forward slash ieatfoods. Wonderful. And I've got to ask you, actually, what's the most popular food from the ieats kind of... Uh, and um, the biggest seller is probably the lasagna. I oh, think really? It's, yeah, I think it's. I, I love lasagna. Yeah, it's my it's, favorite thing to eat. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I tell you what, I, I most certainly will. I promise you, I will, and I'll, I'll put I'll put some information about it on my Twitter as well. But I, I really look forward to uh, to tasting this food. Thank you so much, sister, exactly for how. coming on the program. Before you go, please do tell us what's next for I eat. What, what what's the next plan? Um, more food, more different types of food. Uh -huh. um, so we're looking at getting into different ranges uh -huh. and different types of products. More stores uh -huh. as well, and uh, and launching our foundation. So. Uh, 
uh, there's a charity arm linked to all of this. Okay. And we'd love to launch that soon in the next few months. Marshall, that's fantastic. Well, if you ever need a taster, sister, please do feel free to give me a shout. <laughs> I'm very happy to taste noted. these foods <laughs> and make sure they're great. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been Thank an absolute you. pleasure. Thank you. Speaking Salam to Zakala. Salam alaikum indeed. Let's move on with the show. Please do check out I Eat, by the way. It sounds wonderful. There's a few hours still, so get yourself to one of the, the proper supermarkets where you can get a hold of it. In any case, it's been a jam-packed show so far. And we